The Boston Braves. Yes, they were a baseball team, but no, this video is not about them. The Boston Braves were an AHL team in the 1970s and named after the National League baseball team that had played in Boston until 1953. So how did the Boston Braves come to be? Hockey was booming in the 1970s in Boston, with the Bruins selling out home games year on year. It was said to be the hottest ticket in town. The Bruins had their affiliates placed previously in Hershey of the AHL and the Oklahoma City Blazers of the Central Hockey League. With that in mind, it made sense to bring an affiliate closer to home. The Bruins' ownership applied for an expansion team in the East Coast-based American Hockey League and the Boston Braves debuted in the autumn of 1971. Home for the Braves was the Boston Garden. Opened in 1928, the venue sat vacant for three years before it was finally demolished for commercial redevelopment in 1998. A sad end to a historic building. The debut season for the new AHL club proved very successful on two levels. The club tied for first place in its division with the powerhouse Nova Scotia Voyageurs with a record of 41, 21 and 14, back in a day when there were still ties. The Braves were also proving they were quite a draw in the city. They set league records for single game and single season attendances that survived for decades. Their average attendance of 11,208 was almost double what the next best Hershey Bears and Richmond Robins could muster in terms of crowd that first season. There was no fairy tale ending for their first campaign with coach Ben Gwendolyn at the helm. A 4 1 first round playoff success against Providence resulted in a matchup against Nova Scotia, who duly swept the series 4 0. The Voyageurs went on to win the Calder Cup that year, defeating Baltimore 4 2. The star performers for the Boston Braves included goaltender Dan Bouchard. He allowed just 122 goals in 50 games, posting four shutouts along the way. He would prove a big miss the following season as he joined the expansion Atlanta Flames as their starting goaltender and would go on to have a 15-year NHL career. NHL veterans Gary Peters and Doug Roberts both scored over 30 goals, as did prospect Don Tannehill, who would defect to the WHA. The American Hockey League is primarily a development league these days, but even back in the 1970s, some clubs would blood their prospects in the American Hockey League. A Braves prospect who would go on to have the biggest impact in Boston was right winger Terry O'Reilly, the Bruins' first round pick in the 1971 NHL Amateur Draft. O'Reilly played 60 games for the Braves in 1971-72, making his NHL debut in which he also scored that same season. He would never play another game in the minor leagues. O'Reilly would suit up in almost 900 games for the Boston Bruins, scoring 204 goals and accumulating 606 points during his career. He would return as head coach of the Bruins from 1986 to 1989. Issues for the Braves occurred as early as their second season. Direct competition from the New England Whalers of the World Hockey Association for fans was one issue with them sharing the same building. The other was a loss of players to the NHL and the WHA which meant that the product on the ice wasn't quite as good as the previous year. The Braves still finished second in the division with a record of 34, 29 and 13 but attendance had fallen to under 5,000 on average that season. In the playoffs it was a similar story. A first round victory, 4-2 over Rochester, was followed by Nova Scotia repeating their sweep from a year previously. The third season would be the final one in the history of the Boston Braves. They would win just 23 of 76 games, with the team leaking almost 300 goals which ultimately led to Boston missing out on the postseason. The average attendance dwindled to 1,328 in the third season, going from the best in the league to the worst, and management decided it was time to call a halt to the Boston Braves. The Bruins suspended the Braves and affiliated with the Rochester Americans the following year. The link? Former coach and general manager of the Americans was a certain Don Cherry, now the Boston Bruins head coach at that time. 
The Bruins maintained the existence of the franchise, paying a nominal fee to do so, which had to pay to the AHL each summer. But they had no real intention of bringing a team back. They were essentially a dormant team in limbo. That limbo was broken in 1987 when Boston sold the rights to the Winnipeg Jets organisation. Winnipeg shipped the team to the Maritimes, becoming the Moncton Hawks, a venture that ultimately didn't last that long, but that's another story for another day. The Boston Braves' first game was October 8th, 1971, a 3-3 tie against the Cleveland Barons. Their final game was March 31st, 1974, a 5-3 loss against Nova Scotia. The Boston Braves finished with an overall record of 98-71-40, and having made the playoffs in two of their three seasons during their existence. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, please give this video a like, and subscribe if you would like even more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.